Hello everyone, I'm Frederick. I play guitar and opeth and we're at the Rockfield Studios in Wales recording our new album. Well, recording this album that's been really smooth so far, I would say. Uh, we almost done, I did all the solos today, so we basically only had 12 actual full-on recording days with uh, additional interruptions by doing some press and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, it's been very smooth and I mean our mind set before recording this album was slightly more heavier guitars than the last one if you compare it. More humbuckers instead of a combination of P90s and single coils and some humbuckers on the uh, previous album but on this one it sounds a bit more heavy I think, the guitar tone. And it's been a joy coming here recording again, you know. So we're pretty picky with details, but we A-B tested a lot of different amps and with gear and stuff like that before we went here and kind of narrowed it down. So we had only like four or five different amps to choose from. And yeah, we, we brought a bunch of pedals. Tom uh, had a suitcase full of pedals and we brought a bunch from Stockholm, but we've been using uh, uh, the Echoplex booster a little bit from MXR. And also using the Dun Jim Dunlop uh, Crybaby John Petrucci model for some wall leads. Otherwise, we haven't used much effects. We used a bit of a uh, compression for some clean tones with a, that was an MXR comp. Uh, we've been using some fuzz faces as well. Uh, the one we use the most is a uh, Swollen Pickle by Way Huge. Kind of aggressive tone to it, so. Mostly, actually, the pedals we brought from Sweden got used. Not, yeah, a few from Tom's suitcase as well. Working with Tom is, has been a pleasure again. You know, uh, he's a quite young lad, but uh, he has, like, if we talk about, like, Michael Schenker's tone in UFO, he, he's totally on the spot, so he, he has good vintage and modern thinking, a good combination of that, I think, and, and it's really fast in the studio as well. Since he's recorded a lot of albums here, so he knows the rooms really well, so he gets him, uh, yeah, he gets good sound in a short time, you know. Yeah, when it comes to amps, we've been using a Blues Breaker uh, Marshall, a hand wired one, sounds really warm and nice for some semi clean tones and really clean tones. We also used the Marshall Silver Jubilee uh, in the 50 watt mode, with a, along with the cabinet, with that one. A V30 and the guitar tones Michael recorded he did with a Greenback Marshall 412 cab and uh, we've been using the Silver Jubilee head as well. Uh, recording side of it it's just been very smooth I think we got this tone guitar tone pretty fast and it's just a matter of choosing between the different types of guitars and finding some extra boost pedal or something like that details but uh, since Tom, as I mentioned before, has been here and worked here a lot, he, he knows the room so well and he, he has a good taste for how to place the mics and stuff like that, I think.